My name is Linda Witkowski. I work here at the Indianapolis Museum of Art. I'm a senior paintings conservator here. What training did you have to become a conservator? I went to the Buffalo State College program in New York, of course. Prior to that, I uh, got an undergraduate degree from Michigan State University, dual major in studio art, art history. The Buffalo uh, degree is a Master of Arts degree with a Certificate of Advanced Study in Art Conservation. What's the biggest change you've seen in the field since you became a conservator? Other than my hair turning gray, the biggest changes I've seen in the field, in, especially in more recent times, is the uh, switch over from normal, older photographic and uh, methods of documenting the research that we do to that of uh, digitalization and computerization. And the amount of work uh, and detail work that we now can do is unbelievable. What do you think are the biggest challenges for today's conservators? The biggest challenges for today's conservators are to continue in their understanding of the materials that comprise each of their objects. Every decade, every quarter of a century that passes, all of everything that we work on is getting older and the environments that we house them in we think are safe or are the best for them. And so their challenges would be to continue maintaining that so that this work can be around for not only us, but for their children, grandchildren for years, decades, centuries to come. Can you tell us about a mistake you've made in conserving or assessing an artwork? Years back, uh, uh, when we had a regional services program here, there was a large mural out of state located at a university and it had to be removed from its wall. And I did appropriate tests with a crew of two other people. We did appropriate tests to determine that, yes, we could safely remove this mural. So four months later, we schedule everything. I've got a crew of four or five people working. And we get into about one foot of the project and realize that all of a sudden, all of the adhesives and everything used changed on the project. So we had to make additional tests. And at that time, realized we really could not safely proceed further. So it was my, I don't want to call it much of a mistake, as much as of a, uh, with the appropriate and further testing, uh, an initial miscalculation of what we could do, which we then corrected. And I had to explain to the university that we could not safely remove the mural, and we canceled the project. Do you think that a conservator's work can change the meaning of an artwork? Yes, I do. Uh, we have a couple of paintings here in our lab where right now they're undergoing very extensive research because artistic attribution is in question. So it is very important that any work I say do on the painting be kept to that of only uh, where there's a loss, putting back just that area so that when the viewer looks at the painting in its completed state, they're seeing what the artist had intended the painting to look like. Uh, we have some examples of paintings where initially, due to restores overpaint, they, it was perceived that a particular person or an unknown artist did it. We have a chance that there may be some changes there going on, and that's always exciting. It takes a long time to prove that, though. It's always easier to say a painting is not original. When you start saying that something might be original, then the research, the collaboration with the curators and other conservators becomes very important.